children. Uh, so initially, at the beginning of this year, we had planned for an excursion. But since the pandemic has kept us locked down for quite a while, we could not move forward with any of the plans. But that does not stop us. We, the biology department of Calcutta Public School, have arranged a virtual excursion for you. So without any further ado, let's begin. The Indian Museum in Kolkata is referred to as the Imperial Museum at Calcutta in colonial era text. It is the ninth oldest museum in the whole world, the oldest museum in India and the largest museum in India. The museum has six sections comprising of 35 galleries of culture and scientific artifacts, namely Indian art, archaeology, anthropology, geology, zoology, and economic botany. But our excursion today revolves around the section of zoology. We are starting off with the section of Shivalik or Shivalik fossils. The fossils primarily here were discovered from around the outer foothills of Himalaya, crossing India, Nepal, Bhutan, and even some parts of Pakistan. Right now, we are looking at the gigantic skull fossil of Paleoloxodon nomadicus or Asian straight tusk elephant. The last of their species have died around 24,000 years ago, nearly at the end of the Pleistocene epoch. A distant relative of Paleoloxodon is Deinotherium. They were a large prehistoric relative of modern day elephants. There are also remains of Stegodon and Dragocerus found in this gallery. Let's move towards the section of invertebrate fossils. But the entrance strangely begins with a huge vertebrate fossil of the Great Irish Deer. It was the largest deer species that stood up to 7 feet with an antler spanning up to 12 feet. Followed by the Colossochelis atlas, a giant tortoise from the upper Shivaliks of North India. Beside these, the rest of the gallery stores fossils ranging from the Cambrian period to the Cretaceous period. Extravagant, isn't it?
This gallery displays biogeographic zones, hotspots and the major ecosystems. Taking a right turn from here, we enter the Botanical Gallery. You will get to see well-preserved specimens from different families, orders and classes. This leads us to one of the most awaited and fairly a new section of the museum, 
the world of invertebrates. None of the specimens here are real fossils. These are all models, still equally beautiful. Starting with the unicellular protozoans, to the pore bearing poriferans, to the highly defensive and colonial nidarians, to the flat helminths, to the segmented body bearing annelidans, to the smartest of all kinds mollascans, to the largest of all arthropodans, and the immortal echinodermata. All the pylons under invertebrata, according to classification by Carl Linnaeus. From invertebrates, we will move to the gallery of vertebrates like amphibians, reptilians, piscines and avis. You will get to see several bird specimens preserved using taxidermy. For the class Reptilia, mostly skeletons and models are displayed. The main attraction of this gallery is the massive estuarine crocodile from Bangladesh. The section for the class Pisces contains specimens of Placodermy, the extinct ones, Chondrichthys, the cartilaginous ones, the Ostichthys, the bony ones, some as models, some preserved in formalin solution. Finally, we are ending this excursion at the gallery of human evolution, the origin of us, the journey of our adaptation, the journey of becoming a greater being.